looking at? Hi. Are you out of your mind? Stop staring at her breast. I was looking at Rose's cross. Mm -hmm. Oh, please. We have a wedding coming up and you are already thinking about cheating on me with the maid. <laughs> I'm off to work. Mm -hmm. I don't need to defend myself from mm -hmm. this nonsense. Rose, mm -hmm. you okay? Yes. Excuse my fiance's hysterics. Who gave you permission to wear a jewelry at work? Are you the maid or a queen here? Take it off. Immediately. Mm -hmm. I, I... I, I, I can't. I Take it it's off. So much to me. I can't. No, no, I, I can't. Oh, Julie! Some respect. With this act, this wicked bride tried to steal my soul. But soon the master of the house would steal my heart instead. My name is Rose. And this is my love story. So her fault. Give my cross back, please. Julie, this is, this is too much. I will never tolerate this kind of behavior. Fortunately, we are not married yet. What is no, this? Michael, Michael, I just love you so much. No, that's why Stay I out of my sight, Julie. Oh, Don't bother me. Rose, let's go to my study. I'll help you. I'll help you fix the chain. Fix it. The main thing is that the cross is intact. My grandfather gave it to me. It's the only thing that reminds me about my family and home when I'm miles away. You know, she had no right to do that. I'm just amazed, sir. Out of the window. What? Quickly. Uh, well, quickly. Why? I want to show you my secret place. And you'll be the first person who's gonna see it. But I still have a lot of housework to do. You, your fears will kill me if she finds out. I'm the master here, and I make the decisions. But I may shouldn't be in the master's garden. So today you are no longer a maid. Close your eyes. I made it in the garden every day. I couldn't take my eyes off of Mr. Davis. I didn't dare confess to him that I had been in love with him for a long time. But I knew he was a wealthy man and I was just an ordinary maid. He could never love someone like me. But then... You look like a princess. Sorry, but... You're engaged, Mr. Davis. Yeah. But I took back the wedding ring, remember? Unless you're in a relationship. No, no, no. But your, your fiance, she still is at your house and she hopes to get everything back, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Um, it's, it's time to break up with her. What? I mean, you saw. She, she, she's become a different person. Always yelling, making scenes. Uh, anyway, I'll talk to her. And uh, later I will wait for you at the usual place, okay? I was so happy, but at that time, I didn't know that someone had prepared a dirty trick behind our backs. Mr. Davis? Yes? Would you mind if I ask Rose to marry me? I am asking you because your opinion is very important to me. <laughs> well, I don't understand. Are, are you and Rose dating? Yes. For many years. I think it's a real love. So you don't mind? Wish you all the best. At that moment, my lover was deceived. But the biggest secret and scandal was still ahead. In the evening, I waited for Mr. Davis in the garden, but he never came. I went up to his room to talk. Mr. Davis! What are you doing here? I, I'm, I'm sorry, but Mr. Davis, he is in the shower. Who do you think I'm waiting for? Get out of here!
pros. Hey, 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 what happened? Why are you crying? Hey. Julia is waiting for you in your cabinet. <laughs> Let me go, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? I haven't spoken to her for a few days. But you lied to me. I spoke to our butler and he told me you two are dating. Why didn't you say so? Well, no. My heart belongs only to you. The bride is waiting for you. Go, oh, please. It's a lie. It's a lie. She just threatened me to, to fire me if I didn't sleep with her. That's why you suspected me of cheating. Because you were doing it yourself. And you, you lied to me about Rose. Great performance. I want you out of the house. Both of you. Sorry, Mr. Davies. Call me Michael. And I want you to stay in this house forever. Listen. I love you. But we can't be together. I'm not from a wealthy family like you. I'm, I'm, I'm just an ordinary maid. You're wrong, Rose. Your cross belong to the royal family. Look. You are a princess. It's not true. It is. You are a real princess. Although, well, I, I don't care. I love you as a simple girl. At that moment, I realized that it doesn't matter what your status is. Everyone in this world deserves true love. And the main thing is to open your heart to it.